While you may already know this, a barbell can help take you to the next level in the weight room because it can handle all the different exercises that you might throw at it. But what can't a barbell do? Well, it can't clean itself. So today, I'm gonna take apart this barbell and show you guys how to clean it. What's up everybody, it's Jake back in the Barbin Garage Gym and I have a bit of a different video for you guys today. I'm gonna to take apart this barbell and show you how to properly clean it so it stays in good shape for years to come. But before I get started with any of that, I have to let you know, we've reviewed a lot of barbells on barbend.com. And if you wanna browse our best list, just Google Barbend Best Barbells and you can decide for yourself which one suits you the best. Now let's get to it. All right guys, so before you get started on cleaning your barbell, there's some supplies that you're gonna want to go and get just to make sure you do it the proper way. So first and foremost, I would definitely recommend getting yourself a pair of safety glasses because you can never be too careful. You're gonna wanna get some three-in-one multi-purpose oil. This is gonna be used to lubricate the sleeves and make that spin happen, which you really want in a multi-purpose bar, such as this one right here. Now I have seen people use WD-40 for that, but I've also read that that could actually cause more dust and dirt to build up within your sleeves and you really don't want that. You're gonna want an old rag, t-shirt, whatever it may be to wipe everything off. This is an old pair of sheets I cut up, it really doesn't matter. And then I would definitely recommend getting a pair of gloves as well because I don't know about you, but I don't really want all that oil all over my hands. So within your loading sleeves, you're gonna find a set of snap rings and washers that hold it together. So you're definitely gonna want a pair of snap ring pliers just to get those snap rings out of there. You also might want a little multi-purpose tool like this, just something thin, you might not need it, but if something does get wedged and you need a little bit more leverage, this is gonna help you out. And when it comes to cleaning the knurling, you're gonna wanna get yourself a nice nylon brush. I do say nylon because if you were to get stainless steel, that could cause some scratches and that's gonna potentially lead to more dust, dirt, dead skin buildup within your bar, which obviously is not what you're looking for. You're gonna want a short bristled brush. This isn't as short as I would like it to be, but I still think this is gonna get the job done. All right, so I'm gonna throw my goggles on. Let's get to it. You're gonna wanna put your hand over top of the barbell just to make sure that snap ring doesn't fly out on you. All right guys, these clearly are not working and it's making my head hurt a little bit. So I'm tired of dealing with that. We're gonna head down to Lowe's and get us a solid pair of snap ring pliers. So come on, follow me, let's go. All right, y'all, we're here at Lowe's now. We're gonna get us a good pair of snap ring pliers. Make sure you get your, yourself a pair like these. They just seem so much better in my hands and let's get back to it, I'm excited. Hey. Double recording. <laughs> Let's get it. Right here. That's what we needed. Let's go. All right, guys, we're finally back from Lowe's with that solid pair of snap ring pliers that I desperately needed here. And first impressions right off the bat, they just feel better in my hands overall and they feel sturdier and like they're gonna do the trick way better than these ever could. So let's put my goggles back on and let's get to it. Once again, you're gonna wanna put your hand over the end of the barbell because you don't want that snap ring to fly out, which could happen. Look at that, that is so much easier, guys. And this is a really good thing to also do, make sure you don't lose anything. You're gonna have the set of snap rings and washers within your sleeve. And it's important that they stay in the same order so that when you put it back together, everything is properly where it needs to be. So I'm using a tissue, you can use a paper towel, paper plate, really whatever. This is just really important to do. So once you get that outer snap ring out, just simply hit your barbell, your cap's gonna fly out. And like I said, we caused a lot of damage to ours, which it's not gonna change the way the barbell works, but it might drive you crazy if you get it scratched up like this, and that's definitely gonna drive me crazy. So let's get this inner snap ring out now. Okay guys, this is ridiculous how much easier this is. So once you get that inner snap ring out, 
just simply slide your sleeve back. You're gonna find a washer and some barbells actually do have a shim. If you do have one like this one, that's gonna be right after your washer. Right after that is a pair of half moon washers. So take both of those out. And once again, make sure you keep everything in the right order. And then as you slide it a little bit more, there is another washer in the very back. All right, so once you get that last washer out of there, definitely go and put your gloves on like I already have. And we're gonna go ahead and take this sleeve off now and just simply give it a nice little pull. I'm gonna slide right off for you. Since you already have it in your hands, you're gonna wanna go ahead and wipe down your bushings that are located on both ends of the sleeve. Just give it a nice little wipe down, get rid of that dust. Set this guy to the side. Now you're gonna come over here, wipe off the end of your barbell from all that remaining dust, gunk, whatever may be in there. This is when we're gonna get that three-in-one oil now. So we're gonna apply a decent amount right where both of the bushings are gonna be. That's the only point of contact with the sleeve and the bar itself. Go and slide our sleeve back on now. And you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and put what was that last washer, it's not gonna be your first washer. Go ahead and put that on. Now we're gonna take our half moon washers and they're gonna fit nicely in this little bit of a groove right here. And when you slide the sleeve on after this step, you're gonna wanna hang on to them so they don't fall on the ground, which definitely could happen to you. So let's see if we can prevent that here. Cool. Now, let's go ahead, put that shim on if you have one. Not every single barbell has one, but this one does. So we're gonna put that in, followed by our next washer. Now we're gonna get that inner snap ring. So. They are different. So that inner snap ring is gonna have a little bit of a rectangle shape, more so than that outer one, which is more rounded off, as you can kind of see right there. So let's go ahead and use these handy dandy snap ring pliers here to put this inner snap ring back into place. Put your hand over top, just to make sure it doesn't fly out on you. This one might take a second. It's okay, don't get frustrated like I did earlier. Cool, that's in there. Simply give your barbell a nice little spin that's going to go ahead and distribute that multi-purpose oil around on those bushings. And as you can see, we've got that nice spin that we want. So let's go ahead, put our end cap back, and I'll go ahead and grab our outer snap ring just so it's ready. Put the end cap in there. Once again, guys, don't get frustrated if you don't get something the first time. Took me quite a while the first time I ever tried to do this, so just be patient, trust me. Now let's go ahead and get our outer snap ring. Make sure that's nice and tight in there, and you're good to go. That's all it really takes to clean your loading sleeve on the barbell. So just go ahead, and once you're done with that first side, do the other one, same exact process. Actually pretty easy to follow, but could be a little difficult along the way, so once again, be patient. All right, now let's talk about cleaning that knurling. So over time, like obviously your hands are rubbing up against this knurling. You're going to get some dead skin cells, as gross as that sounds, as well as dirt, dust, chalk, whatever it may be, it's going to get built up in there. So this is when you're going to want to go ahead and have your trusty brush. All right, so I would recommend going ahead and just giving it a nice rub down while it's dry, just try to get some of that loose buildup out of there. Okay, so once you do that, gonna wanna go ahead, rub in your multi-purpose oil. I'd go ahead and brush that in as well. All right guys, so once you get to a nice stopping point and you're pretty satisfied with how your knurling on your barbell looks, go ahead and set your brush to the side. You're gonna wanna get your trusty rag back out. Just go ahead and wipe off any excess oil that might be on your barbell. 
Cool. All right, now, there's a few ways that you can store your barbell after you're done using it. Now, a lot of y'all at home may only have one barbell, and that's totally fine. You might not really need more than one barbell. So if that's the case, and you have a squat rack or power rack, I would definitely suggest just storing it on your J-hooks like we have with our bar on our power rack over here. It's gonna hold it nice and exactly how you want it to be. No unwanted tension and weak points. Now they do have wall mounts and vertical mounts for your barbells. Which one's the best? So if you do have more than one bar, I would suggest getting a wall mount to go on your wall. It's gonna house your barbells horizontally. My opinion, this is ideal because it's not gonna put any unwanted force and tension in weak points, like I mentioned with the power rack. Now with those vertical racks, it might be pretty easy to store it, but I don't think that's ideal, especially with a multi-purpose bar such as this one, because it's gonna put a lot of force on these bushings and you really don't want that. It's gonna damage it and maybe even decrease the lifespan of it. Two really important things here for you guys. I would not ever recommend storing your barbell with some weight plates on there. Please don't do that. It's gonna really decrease the lifespan of your barbell and it may even cause it to bend or warp over time. And that's obviously something that you do not want. Second thing here is don't lean your barbell up against a wall. That's not good for it. Like I said, it's gonna put tension on the bushings. You don't want that at all, so please don't do that. Okay, so let's talk about the money that you're gonna have to spend on your supplies to make sure you take care of your barbell the proper way. All right, so you can get all this stuff at your local hardware store. We did have to run down to Lowe's to get this set of snap ring pliers. They're about 40 bucks, but it was worth it in the long run. This $15 pair I got just really did not get the job done. This was worth that extra 25 bucks or so. Now, some fitness companies such as Rogue actually have a barbell care kit you can purchase. That's gonna include your multi-purpose oil as well as your brush to clean your knurling. That's gonna be about $13 or so right before shipping and handling. So that's actually a pretty good deal. But if you don't wanna do that, like I said, you can go to your local hardware store that's where I got this three-in-one oil. This four-ounce bottle was about four bucks. The brush is about $10. My gloves I have, those are also about 10 bucks, as well as my safety glasses. So all in all, you're looking at spending around $70 or so. It really isn't that bad, especially if you're one of those people that's gonna do this a good amount and really gonna help extend the lifespan of your barbell. All right, y'all, that's all I have today on how to properly clean and care for your barbell. This is a really simple process, especially once you get the hang of it and you do it a couple times, it's not gonna take you that long. Plus, in my opinion, I think it's really essential for you to do, and it's gonna make sure your barbell does stay in good condition for many years to come. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope I answered some questions that you might have and showed you step-by-step -step exactly how to take care of your barbell. Stay on the lookout for more videos like this one, but in the meantime, head over to barbend.com. You can read up on this process. Just search barbend, how to clean and care for a barbell, and it's gonna pull up everything we talked about here today. I'll see you next time.